Open Directory is the simple but comprehensive directory services solution from Apple. So using a Mac OS X server, you can create an LDAP database that will contain all your users for your organization, whether that might be 100, 1,000, or tens of thousands of users. These users can be replicated across a number of Open Directory servers to make sure that they're available whenever you need them where you need them. So let's show you how this is done. On the client systems, you would go to an application called Directory Utility. This is in your Utilities folder inside your Applications folder. If you hit the plus button here, you can now just simply type in the DNS name of the Open Directory server that you're going to be connecting to. In this case, server.example.com. The server has been added. Responding normally, we get a green dot there. We can now go to the command line. So in this case, we're going to be using a tool called DSCL, or Directory Services Command Line. DSCL explores the directory service connection that the client machine has as if it was a file system almost. So you can navigate into various nodes, in this case LDAP. Here we are, so we've navigated into LDAP. We're now going into the server.example.com. Again, our Mac OS X server running open directory. And now we can finally go into the users folder in there. And this lists out all the users that we have on there. Currently not very many, but we can read in Jimmy Foster. And I can see the entire user record out of the LDAP directory, including some of the managed preferences that we'll show you in just a moment. So this is a very good way of testing and ensuring that you can actually get to that directory server after you've created it in directory utility. To get out of DSCL, you can just type in quit. Another method that you can test to make sure you're getting user resolution is to use the ID command. IDJF, JF is the short name of Jimmy Foster. This looks up that user in any directory service that might be attached to the system and gives you back the user's uh, user ID uh, and the groups that they're a member of. So now let's put this into action. Let's actually go back out to the login window. And a couple things here that you'll notice. The nice one, and the first one that we have here, if you just click underneath the Mac OS X name there, you can actually cycle through a couple of interesting pieces of information. IP address, serial number, in addition to network accounts available. This gives you a visual representation that that directory services connection between the client and the server is perfectly fine. So now let's log in as Jimmy Foster. Since I'm the administrator, I forced Jimmy to actually change the password. This was done through the uh, workgroup manager, which is part of the server administration tools that Apple provides. So now I can type in a new password and continue on into my home folder. So again, Jimmy's a user that's coming from a network server, in this case a Mac OS X server running open directory, but we're logging in onto this notebook here. For example, now I can launch iCal so I can do all my work. Uh, however, as the administrator, I've prevented Jimmy from using some of the applications. So now we have a managed environment where only the applications that the administrator wants a user to use are allowed on this system. So, some of the more advanced features of Open Directory, we show you in a very short period of time, you can see how simple it is to easily go in, create a new user, manage that user, and force them into a certain pattern of behavior.